What do you do when you need to make a website to make money, but you don't have money? Build a Canva website. Go beyond a landing page with the new updates and create a multi-page site in Canva that you can easily connect to a domain you own. Go live in moments, not months. Easy drag and drop builder, no coding required. If your site needs a glow up and you don't have a budget for a designer, this tutorial is for you. Without further ado, let's hop in. I recently had the opportunity to go to a Canva event in Washington, D.C. at the National Press Club. And one thing that I love about Canva is Canva uses Canva to market what they do. They created a Canva website for their event, and it really got me thinking about how you can leverage this technology to do pop-up offers, whether it's a one-time event, a one-time challenge, or you even want to use Canva websites for your business. It's a super flexible platform. So after seeing, practically speaking, how they used Canva websites, I decided to do this tutorial for you. So first and foremost, I will be using Canva Pro to demo this feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can always go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva to get access to a free 30-day trial. The wonderful thing about Canva websites is they make it incredibly easy for you to design landing pages and multi-page sites by using the Canva design editor. So the best way to describe it is typically when you're designing something in Canva, you're going to see your pages stitched together from left to right, but think about a Canva website as pages going from top to bottom. So you're stitching together various sections to make a page, and then you can have multiple pages that can be viewed through the navigation at the top. So if we scroll down here, you can see that you can also add interactivity with no coding required using Canva code. So if you want to add a widget to your website, you can do that by creating it with Canva code and embedding it in your Canva website. You can also gain insights from your website. So if you want to track how many people are going, where the traffic is coming from, that capability is built into the back end. You can also easily apply your brand colors and fonts. And of course, there are tons of templates to choose from. People use Canva websites for everything from a link in bio to even building a website for your wedding. So definitely check out the wide array of templates available before you start designing from scratch. One of my favorite features about Canva websites is they are actually responsive and Canva will show you how it will display on a mobile device before you publish. You can also use AI features directly built into Canva to do things like creating your copy instantly, creating those interactive widgets that I talked about, or even using Canva Translate if you want to translate some of the copy on your website into another language. So what we're going to do is open up a blank template so I can show you the things to look out for when you decide to build your website in Canva. When you hop into the design editor, you're going to see templates available on the left-hand side. Some of the templates will be animated and those are notated by the play icon in the bottom left-hand corner. And you can see that here. Others have multiple sections or multiple pages. And so you're able to see what is included in the template simply by hovering over the design. You can also type into the search bar at the type what your ideal design would be, and then Canva will go through the templates and serve you up some search results that best fit what you describe. If you talk better than you type, you can always click on the microphone in the bottom right hand corner to chat using your voice. So in this case, I'm going to type in event website so that I can narrow my options down. And I'm going to scroll until I see one that has multiple pages. This one here is for an outdoor market and has five sections. So I'm going to click on that and then say apply to all pages. It's also going to tell me what the template style is and the fonts used in the design. So as I apply all five pages, they are going to drop into the Canva design editor and I can click on the grid view to get acclimated with the different pages by clicking in the bottom right hand corner. Now, an important thing to note if you are building a multi-page site is the way that you notate what the pages will be in the navigation is what you name your pages in the grid view. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover over the thumbnail until that icon appears with the pencil. 
and then we're going to type in what the name of the page is. So in this case, we're going to say home. This can be about us. Uh, then we're going to say uh, partners. This can be visit us. And let's see, what's the context for this? Uh, survey. So this we can call survey. Okay, from there, we can double click on the thumbnail to send us back to the home page. And you can see here that this is actually one page with all of the different sections built into it. If you want to customize any of the elements in the design, all you have to do is click on them. So you can change everything from the photos to the text to the colors to fit your branding. So if I double click here, it's going to work just like any other Canva template. If I want to replace the images with images from Canva, all I need to do is go to photos, describe what I'm looking for, and then drag it into the design. So in this case, um, this says outdoor market, zero waste, but maybe I want farmers instead. So I'm gonna type in farmers and I'm going to take that image and drag it into the space. And that's going to automatically resize to fit the frame that was previously occupied by the template photo. You can also bring in videos. So if you wanted to do video backgrounds for your sections, you can search Canva and pull in videos to choose from. You can also animate different sections by clicking on that object and then selecting animate at the top. So if you want to add some text effects or some photo effects, this is how you would actually do that there. Another thing that's really awesome about Canva is if you're pulling in your own imagery and you want to edit it, you do have a photo editor built directly into Canva. So say for instance, if I go to one of my uploads and I select a picture here, if I want to edit this image, all I need to do is click on edit at the very top. And that is going to give me some options if I click on adjust. I can do an auto adjust or I can fine tune it. Everything from the white balance to the lighting, to the color, to even the texture at the bottom. Now we need to think about actually publishing the design. So when you're ready to publish, there are a few things that you can do. In the top right hand corner, you can click on preview. When you click on preview, the default is going to be the view of your website in a desktop format. But if you want to see how it's going to resize on mobile, number one, make sure that that is selected at the bottom. And then you can click on the phone icon in the top right hand corner to see how it will resize on your phone. So if there's anything that you wanna change, you can always go back and edit it once you have previewed it. You have an additional option at the bottom that says include navigation menu. And you can see here, once that is selected, it's going to add a navigation to the top based on what we named our pages in the grid view. So if you want that navigation, again, make sure that it is selected at the bottom. Once you've previewed your site and you feel very strongly about how it looks, you can go ahead and click on publish website in the top right hand corner. Every Canva account has a built-in domain. Mine is bootstrapbizdevice.my.canva.site. And then it's going to give you a slash that you can customize. So in this case, it is slash outdoor market, but I could name that whatever I wanted to. If you want to connect your Canva website to a domain you own, or you want to purchase a new domain, what you're going to do is click on the pencil icon and then click on the purple text that says, get a new domain. From there, you will see where you can connect your domain from a third party, or you can buy a new domain directly through Canva. Simply walk through the prompts to be able to make that connection, and then you can easily publish your changes directly from Canva. Before we hit publish, I want you to locate settings, where you can change everything from the title to the little favicon that's going to appear in the preview. If you want the website to be visible in a search engine search, you'll need to toggle that on. If for some reason you need to password protect the site, you can do that here and then set the password. If you want to see the social media link preview, you can toggle this on and it'll show you underneath. When you're done, you can hit continue to publish and then publish again. 
from there, it's going to prepare your design and then publish your site. An important thing to note is you can always make additional changes to your site after publishing. You just simply go back into your design and click on edit design. And once you've made your changes, you'll need to publish again. And so that's how you apply the changes. So if we head on over to another window, you can see the finished design that we created in Canva. There are tons of elements that you can add to your Canva website, anything from shapes to buttons to graphics, even charts and forms. In a video coming up, I'm going to do a deep dive into Canva forms, but just know if you need to capture information directly on your Canva website, you can create a Canva form and that information will be dropped into a Canva sheet. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. If you're ready to map out your Canva website, check out this tutorial to see how you can use Canva Sheets to stay organized. Until next time, ta-ta for now.